Um, you may recall that um, we had a delegation attend one of the primary airline routes conferences uh, in China um, over the, uh, about a month and a half ago. Uh, and that is a real opportunity to sit in front of um, different airlines that serve Bermuda and to attract new ones. Uh, Brian, one of the things that you constantly hear in the tourism industry is when you speak to airlines, they say, well, where are the beds? And when you go to the hotels, they say, well, where's the lift? And the beautiful thing about where we are now is we're at a, at a space where those two come together. So when we're making presentations to the airline industry, they ask that question about beds, and we're able to say to them, these are the beds coming online. You have the Lauren that's basically getting complete. You'll see progress at Morgan's Point. The St. George's project is certainly going to be happening. And you see any number of other developments that we've already seen with increase at um, Hamilton Princess and the like. So we're actually able to say to them, this is the real deal. Uh, and so um, we're getting very positive feedback from them. And it's, it's really about continuing to push that message to them. Airlines, in, in my experience, in a very quick amount of time, typically um, do their routes about a year out. And they look at and they do a very conservative estimate of about 5% increases in tourism numbers and arrivals. Bermuda's numbers, as you've seen, from the Tourism Authority and the tremendous work that they're doing has incredibly boosted our work uh, in meeting these airlines and showing them the increases of double-digit figures. That's been unheard of in Bermuda for the last 15 years. Um, so I'm confident that we should have further announcements soon. We are still meeting with various airlines. We've got some more trips coming up to sit down with some of our partners and try and encourage uh, different routes. So the marriage of your work in the Department of Tourism and the work by the PTA has been proven and yeah. hasn't been any of the kind of negativity that you might have. No, I think what you're seeing uh, in the last few months and the great news coming out of the BTA is, in my very respectful view, an absolute vindication of the government's position when we formed the BTA three years ago as to why it was important to do that. And that is now bearing fruit. And we said all along, look, it's going to take us time to get to the space we think we need to be. But this is just the beginning now. We've really hit some great numbers. And, and by the way, the numbers that you're seeing, and I, if you'd heard what the BTA has to say, when we look at the numbers, the boosts are not related to the America's Cup from what we've seen through the summer. This is because there's a renewed interest in Bermuda. Uh, and, you know, I can share an anecdote uh, where we had met with uh, one of the hoteliers, uh, and uh, someone that's making a major investment in Bermuda. And they said, they came the first time, and they said, well, this is where my grandfather went for holiday. This is where my father went. It's not a place for us. And then when he really looked at what Bermuda is and what we have to offer, he changed his mind. But you've got to go back again and again and again and sell what Bermuda has. Its tenacity gets the job done. Now, you made your point about the BTA and success of it. Mm -hmm. They're about to change the CEO. Are mm -hmm. you concerned that the momentum that on the contrary, um, the announcement will be made very shortly from the BTA as to uh, the new CEO. Uh, and um, we're very excited. Um, Mr. Hanbury has done a tremendous job uh, in setting up the BTA, getting us to where we are. Uh, and um, we look upon this as just another era of the authority, bringing it to the next level. Uh, and um, I, think, I think we'll find that We'll move forward in a very positive direction and continue that forward momentum. Do you have the position of approving that recommendation? Um, the Act actually uh, requires that the BTA consult with the Minister. Uh, you recall that when the BTA was set up, the intent of the whole Act was to try and keep government out of that day-to-day -day operations, and it's worked very successfully. So I was consulted, uh, and I'll put on the record that I was very supportive of the choice that has in fact been made uh, by the Board of the BTA. Was there any discussion as to pricing during the winter months uh, from Philadelphia? Um, we had discussions with them, but that's ultimately up to the airlines as to what they think is appropriate. And I think you'll find that it's, um, it's very competitive. Uh, and um, it's, it's a way into that, to that side. We, you know, we're, we're continuously working about selling the shoulder season. The BTA, again, is looking for new products and, and marketing opportunities all the time. And as those start to take off, I think you'll see that increased interest. Minister, if you need a lot of pressure for us as far 
wise, what do you see happening at the airport and with cruise ships leading up to and including the last couple? Mm. So you will have seen yesterday that, um, uh, or Monday, we welcomed uh, the inaugural visit of the Carnival Vista, which is, um, the, I think, the largest uh, carnival ship in that class uh, to visit Bermuda. Uh, and it's brand new, uh, and that's a renewed interest from Carnival. Carnival, for example, um, actually has the largest cruise ship registries based in Bermuda. It's larger on the registry than any of the other, other cruise ships that actually call here. So we think that we have a unique opportunity there to try and continue to build Carnival's business uh, uh, that can complement RCL and NCL. Um, in terms of leading up to America's Cup, I think you know, the benefits of, of that speak for themselves. Um, the cruise ships will continue to come. We've, the BTA has done a tremendous amount of work with our ministry, with the Corporation of Hamilton and St. George's. And as you know, uh, we have cruise ships coming really properly for the first time in many years into St. George's next year. Uh, and, you know, we've partnered with uh, NCL in respect of um, ferries and, and the like. So, I mean, I like to use the phrase when I speak to hoteliers uh, and to the airlines, a renaissance period. Forget a platinum period that was, that was false. Uh, we're talking about a renaissance in Bermuda tourism. Uh, and it's an exciting time to be part of that. So the two complement each other very well. I think that we will find as hotel product comes online, you will see even more interest uh, with those airlines to boost those numbers. And of course, um, as they know that a new airport is coming online, uh, that, will ma that makes a tremendous difference uh, to the airlines who have been spoken with in terms of opportunities there. So it's a, it's, a, it's a whole product and a whole package that has to come together to boost up our numbers. Many moving parts, as I put it that way. I would be loath to say that right now in case you hold me to it. But, I, I mean, you're looking at a double-digit rise in percentages uh, in terms of where we are now. I think that's probably the best and most fair way to, to put it. Have the cruise ships shown any interest in, in, in America's stuff? A tremendous amount of interest. Um, you know, they haven't, let's put it this way, they haven't been scared away. Um, and we've had to do a lot of work across ministries uh, to find accommodation for the birthing and all of the other events that are going on. Um, so, no, I mean, it, they're, they're still showing up and those, those schedules are, in, are, are set. Do we have any boat that's coming here specifically at the cruise ship? Uh, that, had been, that had been worked on, um, and um, I can get you more information as to the exact status of that. There is one line that's going to extend the stay of the cruise ship, or cruise ship in Bermuda already scheduled for that purpose. Correct. There as far as I understand, that's correct, yeah. So um, the conference is a worldwide conference. It's held every two years, uh, and um, it's an airline routes conference. Uh, and airlines across the world all attend that conference. It's an opportunity for our people to sit in front of the airlines, sell a bit of Bermuda, but also get information about their desires of different airlines to expand. Um, you gather information from that, and then you go back and make a proper um, pitch to say, this is where we are in Bermuda. This is what we'd like from you. What can, what can we do to make it work? 